this is fundamental to a democracy. You have to have openness and transparency when citizens' rights and human rights are at issue. So let's see all the documents now and let's let everybody see them. It's essential in a democracy. Thank you, Ms. Svensson. Laurence Stassen, two minutes. Thank you, President. Voorzitter, als een dossier. Thank you, President. If a subject is being discussed behind closed doors, then that's going to send the alarm bells ringing. Actors, such a subject. A lot of people are asking themselves why the PWW used to be elected in the Parliament. And we've been elected into the Parliament so that we can fight against this kind of behind closed door talks. But we have to ask ourselves what's coming out of this European kitchen. The European Parliament has to express a view, but we don't know what it's about. It's all secret. It's all crazy. Now, what has leaked through about ACTA seems rather bad, namely that people could be cut off from the Internet. But Europe was always the part of the planet championing individual freedoms. Now, we don't want to infringe subsidiarity, but at the moment it seems that member states don't have any ability to act. Now, our group is for openness and we're against criminalization of citizens or individuals. Now, actors creating the climate of fear where the state is watching you, but it seems to go beyond international bodies. It goes too far beyond the WTO. Now, why is the Commission going along with this? secret uh, cabal. Now, what's happening in this kitchen behind closed doors? What's at stake? Now, we are fighting for the interests of the citizens against uh, this kind of secrecy. Now, we're against the counterfeiting of medicines and products, but it's not about that in this debate. What it's about is that the members of the European Parliament should be able to speak on this. It shouldn't be secret. Now, we cannot imagine such an infringement of our mandate. President, this uh, stinking kitchen should be closed down. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Svensson. Two minutes. Ms. Susanna Reutever. President, colleagues, Commissioner. Re the accession of chi China to the WTO has brought with it a great problem. We know that Europe is being swamped with uh, falsified and counterfeit products which can be dangerous to the health of consumers and that has uh, had a serious economic impact on our companies. Companies are suffering from this swamping of products and the member states legislation simply can't keep a pace. Measures at European level uh, are not being effective in fighting against this counterfeiting. Cooperation in the fight against counterfeiting needs to improve. However, this approach is not necessarily the best one. There, are, there is information on controversial articles that needs to be uh, transmitted to the members of parliament so that this information becomes public. This agreement is desperately needed in the Parliament, but it may well be rejected by the Parliament because of this lack of information, such as the SWIFT agreement. If the Parliament is not well enough informed about the structure and the uh, limits of this agreement, it may well be rejected. I don't want to act to be rejected or to be trivialized without significant discussion and to uh, assuage the fears of our citizens. This discussion has strategically decided not to uh, take on board China, which is, as we know, one of the major sources of this counterfeit product. So uh, will you be dealing with China in the future to be able to bring into the agreement later on? Thank you. Mr. Suster, thank you, President. Colleagues, 
Europe's ambition to be the major economy of the world is more and more anchored to relaunching competitiveness of Europe and its ability to make products and to conquer new markets. The fight against counterfeiting and against IPR infringements is absolutely essential. Protecting trademarks, patents and IPR, however, are not only non-financial instruments to give competitiveness to the system, but they're also a tangible example of the principles of democracy, or legal democracy based on the respect of rules, rules that have been trampled over the last years with, for example, financial speculation. ACTA is a fundamental instrument to combat a phenomenon of counterfeiting which amounts to $500 billion a year. It also has links with international organized crime. It infringes basic fundamental rights such as health. Uh, particularly in the area of pharmaceutical counterfeiting. Now, to assess ACTA, we need to think about the international framework. However, we have to be very clear and we have to make sure that some basic principles are built in, namely that we have a respect for rules. We cannot hide the fact that we're very concerned about the legal basis of the treaty, the negotiating mandate and transparency. We have to respect the treaty. Now, this parliament represents 500 million citizens and it has to be properly informed. Now, the commission has to refer back to us about the state of play and we have to have access to documents and information so that we can express our view. 